Hey guys, starting this vlog off in Barrie, Ontario, and uh, today is Giving Blood Day, trying to save some lives, dropping a pint of blood, getting some free cookies, drinking lots of water, making sure I'm hydrated. I uh, should drink at least 500 milliliters before you give blood. Uh, if you live in, I'm pretty sure this is just on, like, I'm not sure if this, yeah, Canada Blood Service, so right across Canada, it's all exact same uh, company that kind of runs the whole thing. Uh, so if you live in Canada, I totally suggest you guys uh, belong to the Canadian Blood Service. I'm on my 15th, sorry, I'm on my 16th blood donation. Uh, I, I, I couldn't do it for a while because Carol and I went to um, Dominican Republic. And so I couldn't, uh, couldn't do it for I think a year after I went there. So depending on if uh, a place has mosquitoes and malaria and stuff, so because we went to Dominican Paul, I couldn't d donate for a year. Uh, and then the last time I had that stupid rash on my arms and uh, they wouldn't uh, take blood from your arm when you have a rash. So I'm back, it's the first time in at least six months to a year. So uh, let's get in there, give some blood, save some lives. I think every pint of blood saves five lives. So let's do that. I got a Coke, and they got Oreos, cream to fruit, Nutri-Grain, Goldfish, <gasps> Sugar Snap Cookies, Gold. Lots of stuff to eat. All right, last one out like usual. Had my cookies, had a can of pop, and uh, now I'm gonna head back home, edit. And uh, so I edited the vlog today and got that out before I came here. I have to go back and edit the food review for the social pub and uh, either put that out today or tomorrow probably tomorrow seems to, my videos seem to do well if I, I put it out on a on a Saturday morning let's see if that proves true Welcome to the lake. We're up at Musco up in Muskoka at Carol's parents' house. This is their house. Uh, they used to live down in Markham way back when. And then they sold everything and, and bought this land, built this cottage. And we've been coming up here ever since I knew Carol. So they had a different lake on the cottage, or sorry, a different cottage on the lake and uh, they liked this land so their other cottage is like way over there and then they liked this land as lot and the only building on the lot was that bunky over here so they bought this huge property built this cottage on it and uh, I think it was finally built in 1997 hey Carol hi Hey everybody, it's Carol and Sam.
got all the drone footage done. Now it's time to go logging. And Jim had the... I heard the ATV out. Where'd he go? He left me. Oh, there he is. Alright, all hooked up. First tree down. I'm good to go. Full. You think it's full? Uh, Do you think it's full? <laughs> it's full. Let's go. Nice load of maple. Maple? It's all maple, right? It was from all that maple. one tree. Nice. Yeah, all maple. Nice logs. We just unload them right there. And you get what, six to eight pieces out of each one, or oh, yeah, for your fireplace? Six, yeah. At least six. Yeah. So it's like a pie. Yeah. I'll throw them on the splitter. When do you think you want to throw them on the splitter? Some other day. Some other day. Beer time. Here. 
like them on the side or straight up and down? No, straight up and down. It's okay. Huh? Yeah, about 80. Good, good. Well, there you go. Little log, little logging, as they say. Uh, got lots done. Going inside, relax. Have a hot beverage or a cold beverage, as it's, we'll probably do. I just need to help Jim put something up in the raft.